I think we're done with the training arcs. We're done with the engagement. Everything is done. The death flags has been set, but I don't think they're, it's actually going to go off. Shit in Sicily, I don't think it's going to happen. I think that they're going to be perfectly fine. Now, we should be fighting Strom and the war, and we only have how many episodes? Three episodes left. Let's see what's going to happen today. <laughs> Booba! So that really flying. Got it. <laughs> no, because if we do that panties, last episode told us that. Okay, she was prepared from last episode. Last episode, we said, well, you can't fly. No, no, no. The panties are going to show. She came prepared. What does she got? Well, I'm glad you're covering up. Go fly now. <laughs> the cup phone is now held on to like a separate microphone stand right over there to, you know, be even louder. If you don't get down, I'll turn off the white wind magic. Sorry, floating magic. Investiture ah. ceremony? Oh. Imperial so Castle, Stromside. Oh, what though? Turn them into demonoids? And you're making those commoners try to revolt on purpose so that you can demonize them. So I guess there's like this obviously like negative emotions aspect in demonizing people, right? So like we make the commoners like starve, make it look like everything's so unfair, demonize them, then we just control them, we take over the empire, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Huh, this girl from the beginning has always seemed a little bit off of like, is she actually on Strom's side? But even this commentary right now about like how Commoner is being victimized too. I wonder if she's going to be his downfall. Like, she will be like, this isn't right. Hmm. <laughs> What's your plan? <laughs> What? Doesn't he even care about that? What? He gathered up an army of demonoids to take over the empire. He pretty much already did. Didn't even need them. And now what? He's like, well, you guys are retired now. I'm gonna chill. Yeah, world domination? Ah, that sounds annoying. <laughs> this is interesting from Strom. Okay. どうぞ。という。彼の考えに賛同する方はどうぞ。<laughs> <laughs> what about the demon that you created? It doesn't matter. He's done. Unless this is all part of his plan and we still don't know. I I I don't know. It's all part of the plan. Bro's done with the game. He's on New Game Plus, doesn't care anymore. The backstory he had about, like, you know, the succession wars, his eyes being gouged out was a lie, but there's still some partial truth to that backstory, right? That's why he hates the Empire so much, or the nobility? In line to be Emperor, yeah, succession wars plot. Backstory time! Damn, only two years ago. What's with the name change here? Oliveira von Stradius. And then later, Oliver Strom. Like, the Strom and von Stradius is obviously a different name from like the back, like the past, you know, the, the lineage and like his new last name. But like, Oliveira and Oliver is just like. You removed two letters from this. You could have picked an entirely different name. Oliver? Okay. What went wrong? Everyone's so happy and peaceful. This is great, but... 
どこもかしこも人手不足か以前からここまで平民優遇の政策を、ね、ッッ私も子供の頃入れていたよだが若い頃旅をした時ある国で人違い奴隷制度もなく Is this our empire? Or is this our empire? Or our kingdom? This country? I'm not sure. So in the empire, there's a whole slave system. And Oliver went to a different place. I'm assuming it's our, you know, wherever we are right now. And it's like, wow, this place is so nice. So, she said, What a good guy! I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Well, considering he doesn't hang around with his wife anymore, I'm going to assume that the mom and the child that has been yet to be birthed dies at some point in this flashback. Yeah, you should be more worried about yourself, Arya. You s h o w i n up pregnant, and I didn't know you existed until now in the flashback. You are so dead. Succession more bullshit incoming. What was this guy? This guy, his name is Harold. Later, Emperor. Oh, he's the guy that we already killed. That's right. We already killed this guy a couple episodes ago. Yeah, because you treat your commoners like pieces of shit slaves. Why wouldn't they leave? Of course they would leave. We are positively seething! Oh no! And then the commoners might actually stick around because, you know, good things happen. Yeah, the nobility system here is absolutely corrupt. We need to just call them. So, you know what? I don't even feel that bad. Well, then again, we made the commoners all get so desperate and then made them into demonoids to kill all the nobles. Like, it's a fucked up, it's a fucked up answer, right? For a messed up problem. So,、uh, yeah, I can see both ends where it's just like, yeah, nobles suck. They need to be corrected. But, like, was this the way to do it, though? <laughs> I'm gonna end up rooting for Oliver at this rate, man. Like, with all this going on, and presumably his wife and the unborn kids are also gonna die from this outcome, it's like, yeah. I don't know, I'm, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. I don't know, I might have done exactly what you did too, man. Because it's a flashback where you need to die. The wife is 100% correct! <laughs> yeah, he won't be, but what about the wife and the kid? <laughs> yeah, he won't be, but w h I mean, nothing happened to him, really. It's what happened to her and everyone else. They've taken their wives, bro. Yeah, I bet you're the one doing the kidnapping. Nah, I bet this dude is the one that's going around kidnapping, bro. What? Okay, so now ugh, the nobles are they're kidnapping the women and the children, and then they're blaming it on Strom, and they just believe it.
They just they just eat all this shit. This all sucks. Everything about this sucks. What would even make you think like that? He's been such a good lord. Their line of thinking is, isn't it weird for a feudal lord to give such favorable treatment to commoners? You're right. You know what? Maybe these commoners, they all deserve this shit. Maybe the empire, the nobles, maybe they figure something out. Maybe even the beginning, they're like, yeah, these monkeys don't deserve human rights. And Strom was such a nice guy, trying to be all, you know, equal and stuff. And now this is what he gets. They're so dumb. They're like, yeah, don't you think the exact reason for why he's good is the reason why he's bad now? It's like, w w you're not even going to think about what the empire is. You're just going to blame it on Strom, dumbasses. Huh? Fake police! <laughs> Fake police, dude! This guy sucks. I mean, we already know he's dead, but goddamn, this sucks. Still a fake cop, by the way. Fake paperwork. Now they set this shit up. They set this shit up. This is all set up, right? No, 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 no. This is all clearly set up. And now the commoners are gonna eat this shit up because it's all it's all set up, right? Everything is according to plan. It's just ah, uh, no one's gonna ever doubt. <laughs> Uh. Don't tell me they're the one that takes down the wife, man. Everyone. Just Empire. Nuke it. There's no salvation. Just nuke it. I don't even... You know what? What what Strom did now to the nobles and the commoners? I don't even care. Straight up. I don't even care. I probably would have done something even worse, man. <laughs> the people he was trying to protect turned on him. Yashikikara <laughs> That's so messed up. They're gonna show us? They're fake police! You didn't even know that! How smart is that? Who would do that? You think we would actually carry kidnap people with a crest on it? You don't think we try to do something more deceitful to avoid it? These commoners, man. They deserve to suffer entirely forever and forever and forever. Nobles are dumbest. Nobles are also all corrupt and evil. The commoners are stupid and dumb. It, they, it just all sucks. Again, entire, the entire empire just, just nuke it. Just like, I don't want anyone left behind. Harold, the guy you killed! <laughs> He's sounding like me. In my third hour of getting over it as I fall down over and over again. It's Joker time. It's, it's Joker time! Ah, what does she want to do? I 100% agree. Nah, no forgiveness. Nah, I am 200% on Strom's side. I would do what he did and probably even worse, man. This entire backstory, everything about it, I completely empathize and I can still recognize what he's doing right now is messed up. Yes, I know. 
but you can acknowledge that and understand how he became that way through all these events in the past. End them. What's Shin gonna say to this when he gets confronted with this? What is he actually gonna say? The one bullshit main character cliche thing to say is like, This isn't what your late wife would have wanted, Strom! She would have never wanted you to do this even though the commoner has fucking killed her and the baby. That, that's one, you know, main character cliche of like, Think about your wife! She wouldn't have wanted this, man! You're tarnishing her death! It's like, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Good. And he already accomplished that. And the wife too, by the way. I mean, I know she did. I I know she did, but there's no more burial. No, it's all gone. Demon! In that one moment, he already became a demonoid? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just like an de aesthetic design thing, just visions. Maybe he's already been studying. Who knows? But the eyes are red here. That was it. That was a huge, that was a demonization, right? Was it what, what is the process of becoming a demon? Your mana like gets out of control, right? It, it's like a just violent outburst of mana within your body. So he just got demonized, I think. Yeah. You know what? I think that if you were in this position and this should happen to you, and like the people that you were trying to say were so stupid enough to turn on you like this, and did all that shit to your wife and your unborn kid, yeah, yeah, I don't think that this is unreasonable. I think this is the most accurate thing a person, like a, like a, a normal person, would even react. Yeah. Like, like, I would want the worst upon everyone that did this. Like, there is no way you could tell me that peace is the way to this. Nah, you hurt me like this. You take everything away. I want to do the exact same thing to you. But, you know, the, the main character's going to come in and be like, Stop! Stop! Your wife wouldn't have wanted this. You must live now for your dead wife's wishes that she never said. I don't fucking know. How, is, how are we going to, like, convince this guy? There is no way unless we come up with, like, an excuse for the wife. I think I forgot Shin killed Kurt and almost killed Strong. No, I didn't. I remember that. But it doesn't mean that a, a chance to, like, for redemption can't happen either after, like, backstories like this can happen. Like, these are not mutually exclusive things. Like, that can still happen. Who is he? Oh, they're making Shin Wolf for So. It's interesting how Zest is like walking behind the scenes right now and like, like talking to other people like So this guy is... what's his name? I don't remember him but I've seen the opening so there's Lawrence So there's the guy and a girl now And even the... they're both like... everyone's kind of questioning him right? So I feel like... Maybe Zest is the real puppeteer at the end of the day And kind of just using Strom right? That's what it kind of seems like like Str like, maybe there's somehow redemption for Strom, and it's actually Zest that's the bad, bad guy. That's, that's kind of what the story seems to be pivoting to, right? Because he doesn't really care anymore, but Zest is like, nah, do some other shit, give him some new objectives. 
それはまあ。これは出て行った魔人たちに紛れて、やつらが水道王国に。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。水道王国。わかりました。行こうということですね。わ<笑>かりがいいな。Who's strength? Shin strength? When the day comes. Perfect next objective for Strom. Very well, when the day comes, you want to be ready for him by determining his strength. Him here could be Shin. Probably not Strom, right? He's not. I, I don't know. Maybe like 1% chance that this is Strom and, you know, that's the ultimate goal is to kind of just like take over. But I'm assuming that this is Shin still. I don't know, him here? When the day comes, when that day, right? They're either planning some sort of backstabbing event where Zest will take over Strom, or they're planning for a moment where Zest will fight Shin. Either or. I don't know. I don't know. Lawrence, I'm gonna assume that, like, when the day comes, when it's time to confront Shin, it's just. Because Zest seems to be working around behind the scenes, trying to give Strom other things to do, I thought maybe his goal was to take over a spot, but both would make sense. Yeah, it's almost like he is a prince. Oh, wait, he is a prince. Oh my god. Oh. I swear to God, Uncle Dis has done this shit like five separate times this season. Like, how many fucking ceremonies, how many award ceremonies, even the engagement ceremony? He's always there at these ceremonies. Every time, Uncle Dis is there acting as like the main like, adjudicator. Huh? He could have waited like five more minutes, yeah. He kind of did ruin the whole fucking ceremony. I mean, what's more important? This bullshit ass ceremony that doesn't matter? It's just for tradition or people's lives in the line, but like, I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. <laughs> I mean, people's lives are in the line. This is urgent. But, you know. <laughs> Wow, he's already giving off a speech, you know, after just the ceremony. And the speakers here, they mentioned earlier in your episode about how Shin's new technology might be useful in the, uh, the ceremony, right? So now we have like a magnifying, you know, fucking, what's it called? The announcer mic thing, just like every, letting everyone know. This is crazy. Like, isn't it insane that without Shin, this entire kingdom is done, right? Because like... If Shin didn't show up, if Shin didn't assemble this, like, 10 characters that's all gonna be just insanely strong through the training sessions, just unexpectedly, there's no way we could fight against the demonoids. Right now, each member of our ultimate magic club truly are just strong, like, the strongest soldiers in this nation, right? And if this never happened, we're all fucked. Everything is messed. Then again, you could argue that if Shin wasn't here, Maybe the steps into escalating Strom into, you know, enacting his demonoid plan also wouldn't have, happened, wouldn't have happened so fast because, like, Shin killing Kurt and stuff like that is kind of what set everything off. The ultimate club. Shin. <gasps> <laughs> Everyone wanted to fucking flex their new drip as the ultimate magic club, you know? Just stand up and go like this. Whoa! No speaks, just scream into the mic, and everyone else will go. Whoa! And then we go off to war. Demon Slayers. Demonoid Hunters. They do. They genuinely do. Ultimate Magic Team. 
team squad. Okay. Oh. Here we go. New group. I mean, the club name was already so audacious, but like, it's not a far fetch that we are ultimate magicians now. If you're sending in these students who are in their first year to fight them because we're already that strong, like, who else in the Earlside Kingdom could compete, right? Maybe on like Siegfried level. I don't even know how strong Siegfried really is. Yeah, it's a little crazy, but it is true. <laughs> into the sky huge fucking attack into the sky and make everyone know that we got this oh my god oh my god what if i i just had a i just had a little brain blast what if he does this for ceremony shoots off into the distance some super broken attack shoots it off in the distance all for fun right everyone's like wow we have confidence it's actually in the direction of the kingdom of swede and what if this ceremony attack Annihilates all the demonoids that's already fucking attacking now. Knowing this show, it definitely could do that, right? They definitely could do something like that, right? All right, flying magic. All right. Isekai generic map. Wow, this is an actual fucking. I never realized. This is the first time we're seeing Earlside Kingdom. It's a just straight up copy based fucking Konosuba map, Isekai map. But like, okay, we're doing the flying magic. I wanted him to just shoot up into the distance and just eliminate the demons already, but it is what it is. Avengers, assemble! And that is today's episode of Wise Man Grandchild. And this is a really good one, man. Like, holy, the whole backstory with Strom, now we understand his motivations and why he's doing this. And yeah, I think it's completely justified. If any normal person were put in this position, they'd all do the same. I could never forgive these commoners for being so stupid to listen to the nobles. I could never forgive the nobles for being so greedy to the point where they're going to pit us against the people we're trying to protect. Absolutely. And he 100% demonized himself and now he's out to just take down the emperor. Take down the nobles and take down the commoner. Just wipe this empire. And he's already done that. And now he's like, shit. I've already completed the game. What do I do now? I'm not sure. And then go Zest and the other people like Lawrence and that midi girl or something. To kind of like, I don't know what Zest is doing, but he seems like he's trying to give Strom a new goal to strive for. So Strom's just chilling. Zest seems to be the master puppeteer behind the scenes. And I'm not sure if the other two is going to turn on Strom or not. Now we're going off to the Kingdom of Sweet. We are the ultimate magicians. And the only way to, you know, protect this kingdom is to send high school students because no one else in this kingdom is strong as, you know, Shin and his gang. And it makes sense because, you know, they're getting trained by the wise Merlin and Merida and Shin. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't use this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.